Welcome to Toffee TV. It's the Everton News Daily. Everton have confirmed the departures from the academy today. One surprising name on there was Lewis Warrington, who, of course, made his first team debut in the final home game of the season. Warrington will leave the club on June the 30th, along with Mackenzie Hunt, Katia Kuyati, Kyle John, Ed Jones and Dylan Graham. Obviously, Mackenzie Hunt spent a, a lot of time training with the first team as well this season. A few people thought he may get some Premier League experience before the end of the season but listen the the club have made that decision you can look at it two ways you can look at it as a a positive step by Everton to release players and create space for others or you look at it and say are they clearing the decks in terms of money but I can't see it that those lads won't have been on big wages and it, it is for the boys who are leaving it's an opportunity for them to get their career the next stage of their career up and running because obviously just staying at Everton and not really getting a chance isn't going to help with any progression. From the under 18, Sebastian Jensen and Danny Ma have also left or will leave the club on the 30th of June. Uh, from the under 21 side, Roman Dixon, uh, Jacob Bowman Clark, and Bradley Moon, and who are all set to move up uh, from the 18s to Paul Tate's 21 squad, have all been offered a uh, new contract with the football club. Uh, while Sean McAllister and Liam Higgins will remain at Everton on a short term basis to enable those players to continue their respective injury rehabilitations. <laughs> Everton's Shara Brantwaite and Jordan Pickford featured last night for England as they beat Bosnia and Herzegovina 3-0 at St. James's Park. It was Shara Brantwaite's England debut. Uh, it was good to see him come on. He came on and played 28 minutes. It looked very comfortable, apart from Miss time and a header, which got him a booking early on. Apart from that, he looked very, very comfortable, but a good win. And Jordan Pickford, another clean sheet for England, I think. I'm sure it's something like one in two. He's kept clean sheets now for half of his games, so he's been uh, in really good form for England. Great to see Jared getting on as well. According to a report in The Athletic today, Everton will take another look at midfield at Delhi over the summer. He's recovering from an injury which has kept them out for the entire season. Uh, Delhi is, of course, out of contract on the 30th of June. He'll finish his rehab at Everton Football Club. That is part and parcel of it. Uh, but according to this report today, Everton haven't ruled out totally him remaining at the club. If that would be the case, he'd have to really impress Sean Dyche over the summer and a deal would need to be agreed with Tottenham Hotspur. They haven't been able to do one so far but they wouldn't, there's not a chance he would stay under the current agreements, which would mean if he played another seven or eight games and Everton would end up paying £10 million for him. There's no chance of that happening. Um, it seems highly unlikely, this one, but it's back in the uh, the news today, so that's why we're reporting it. Uh, and Ben Godfrey has been linked with a move away from Goodison Park as well today. Uh, this is coming as a result of the defender only having 12 months left on his current deal. Uh, the 26-year-old is being tracked by Milan and Borussia Dortmund. According to those reports today, uh, Godfrey made 15 appearances in the Premier League for the club last season. Sean Dykes did... Um, they put him in at right back and he had a lot of solid games as Everton um, guaranteed their Premier League safety. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Ben. And today, another link away from Everton Football Club for Amadou Onana. Obviously, he is on international duty now with Belgium ahead of the European Championships. Arsenal heavily linked with him again today. A few articles saying why he will be perfect for Mikel Arteta's team. But Bayern Munich seem to be the favourites for a move for Onana. Obviously, Vincent Company uh, would know Onana, the Belgian link, and all of that stuff as well. So we'll wait and see. It seems inevitable that Onana's played his last game for Everton Football Club. And it, from our perspective, it'll be a case of getting as much for him as we possibly can. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you uh, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.